Speed Racers Mach 5 coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? And my name is Trevor Selescu, and I am the owner of this great store. <laughs> my wife owns the other half. <laughs> So anyway, tonight we're going to look at a cartoon car. This would go very nicely with your Beatles Yellow Submarine. Although that is an English cartoon and this is a Japanese cartoon. Very famous back in the day. And as you can see, we've got this nice box for our Speed Racer M5 racer. Ha ha! So now let us go down and check out the build. Ha ha! And now we take a wonderful look back into the Speed Racer Mach 5 by Polar Lights. Now this is a snap together kit and we'll just, it's got that flip box like Ravel had back in the day. So let's move this out of the way and check out our Speed Racer. Easy snap together kit. Ha ha! <laughs> okay, so they give you a paint code here for figuring out what colors to paint the car. And uh, unfortunately, this does not have an opening trunk for a Spridle to hide in with Chim Chim the monkey. But anyway, as you can see, the entire instruction sheet here is done on one side. So anyway, here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He started off as a Japanese comic book character called Mac Gogo back in 67. Way back in 1967. <laughs> Hilarious, also Frightenstein. Okay, that was the reference. So here it's got that homing robot, which was, of course, the flying bird, popped out of the car, and a steering shaft. You can put your steering wheel on. Of course, handbrakes. It's got separate seat belts which was quite a new feature in that time frame. But then again, uh, it was a race car. And then it shows you how to put the axles in and that's got some screws to screw the panels down. And it's got those headlights that are underneath in the front of the car. Of course, our wheels and these jack stands that popped out of the bottom of the car and would cause the car to jump in the cartoons and stuff like that. Choo, 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 choo. Remember that sound? <laughs> and here you get the bullet, bulletproof aqua canopy with the periscope if you want to have it go underwater. A secret panel for the honing robot on the body flips up, and then of course the bird pops out. And then the tail fins and stickers. And it shows here assembled with the bulletproof canopy, which of course is, gives it more streamlined. And then with the regular windshield, which, of course, leaves it a convertible top. And this being a Japanese car, it has the uh, rear view mirror on the left hand side. Which is kind of strange, because he is driving it from the right hand side. Okay, I have no idea why that's like that. But anyway. Okay, and then they show you the other models that were available from the Polar Lights lineup. So now let's look at the plastic. And we'll start with our big white bag here, which of course we have to cut open. With the old scout knife, which I think we'll need to go into the sharpening stone again. So move that out of the way. Uh, Ravel lid box. Almost went on the floor. Okay, here is the Speed Racer body. And unbeknownst to Speed Racer, Racer X is really his brother. Okay. <laughs> Thought I'd throw some references in. Just throw them around. As you can see, the body is quite smooth, but it does have those cool type fins up here. And the old AMC style door handle, Kelvinator. 
and sunken back. That's almost sort of Corvette style. Unfortunately, this does not have the big, massive super race motor, which is a secret known only to Speed Racer and his father, who designed the Mac 5. <laughs> okay, anyway, there's the parts. They're pretty simplistic, pretty smooth. The detail is quite soft. And then, of course, under here, in the good old Polar Lights of the Era fashion, there we go. They have a big story about Praying Mantis and Speed Racer and all the people they had to pay for the licensing rights on both sides of the undercarriage and, of course, the Polar Light symbol. Most guys sand these off for realism, but since this is a snap kit, maybe it doesn't matter so much. You can see the front is sort of like an F1 style. Oh, they, they even have the Polar Lights emblem inside, just in case. And of course, there's your instrument panels. Got to paint that red. This is the rear in the trunk. Look at all those holes in there. Locating holes for everything. Okay, so that's that part of it. Now we get into the dashboard instrument panel. Yep, there we go. Oh, there it is there. See, pretty basic. And we've got our door panels and steering wheel and pedals. And there's the little bird. I think it was silver or gold or something, if I remember kind of correctly. It's been a while. Yeah, so that's the interior. And then here we have the rest of the car. So there's the seats. Oh yes, it's a snap together, so all these have pegs underneath. Of course, as we know with all snap togethers, you got to glue them in place. <laughs> okay, so that's the clear part, or the white plastic parts. And now we have this second bag. Ooh, with the tires right on the deck all sheet, which is never a good sign. Because tires tend to deteriorate over time and then make little rings right inside your decal sheet because there's some kind of chemical reaction this knife needs to be sharpened okay luckily oh these are stickers so ha huh. these are stickers it's got the big speed racer stickers you can put on your lunchbox and then the rest of this goes on the actual car or you can make a little garage and put these on diorama and there is our clear glass. And of course, as you can see, the Aqua Shuttle glass is more aerodynamic than your regular windshield. And there's your front headlights for underneath. Mounting like that. And then we have the, the chrome side mirror and our wheels, as well as some of the shift levers and rear view mirror. Ha ha! And here is our tires, ha! <laughs> and you can see that neat tread. They're almost like uh, tractor tires on the front of tractors. And of course you get four of those. And then you get this little bag here that I'm not going to open up for obvious reasons. Your axles and your screws. And that. That. That will take us to the end of our review of the Polar Light Snap Together version of the Speed Racer Mach 5. Ha ha! Well, I hope you enjoyed that review of the Speed Racer Mach 5. Ha ha! And now, if you would like to support our little racing team, please check us out at our YouTube homepage where you can click the PayPal icon. Ha ha! And if you would like to check out some of these other great videos, please click here and here. And if you would like to see our Build a Monster contest from 2016, check it out here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here and click the notification bell so that every time I make a video, you get to see it. Ha ha! And until next time, ha, I will get you, Speed Racer. Ha ha!